So hydroxy acids are a wonderful way of addressing clients that have got an acne condition. The worst possible exfoliant your clients can use if they've got inflamed or angry or aggravated acne is a scrub. Because when you're scrubbing the skin, you're stimulating more blood to the area, you're aggravating what's already there, and very often make the skin oversensitized. So hydroxy acids, things like lactic acid and salicylic acid are a wonderful, uh, a wonderful ingredients that will chemically exfoliate in a very gentle way um, and a much more powerful way because salicylic acid, for instance, will work its way down. It's attracted to the sebum, so it will clear out that follicle at a little bit of a deeper level. Papain and bromelain are two enzymes that are very commonly used in combination with the hydroxy acids. And those enzymes are like your little Pac-Men. They're proteolytic. They love the keratin in the skin. They love to munch away at the skin cells. So again, those in combination with the hydroxy acids, you get a fabulous job at re really clearing that, that acne skin or that congested follicle. So gentle exfoliation on a regular basis, either professionally for your acne sufferer and it's certainly for them to carry on doing that at home with their home care regime, maybe once or twice a week. Reducing the bacteria. Zinc sulfate has been used since Egyptian times. It's a wonderful healer in the skin. It helps with the bacteria. It's a wonderful ingredient to look out for in your acne remedies. Sulfur is oil absorbing and antibacterial. So again, another great ingredient that will help your clients clear up their acne, whether it's in a mask uh, or a treatment serum if you're using a professional range of products in your business. And tea tree. Tea tree is that old favorite antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, a wonderful ingredient to have in combination either in cleansers or in masks or treatment to help your client with that bacteria. And many of these ingredients do different things, have de very many different functions and will often cross over. We want to reduce that inflammation because remember that follicle, all the time it's filling up with sebum, sticky sebum and skin cells and blocking off the top of the follicle, that bacteria that are a special breed of bacteria, an anaerobic bacteria, which means they will thrive with no oxygen. So once that follicle is closed to the air, that's when those bacteria are gonna thrive. So we really want to get in there and treat the bacteria, kill off the bacteria and reduce then the inflammation. So the more activity that's going on within that follicle, the more inflammation you're going to get. So cone flower or echinacea, that some of you are probably more familiar with that, has been again used for very many different um, reasons. Uh, wound healing, it used to be used for snake bites. It's a wonderful, wonderful ingredient for uh, helping to heal an acne condition and reduce that uh, inflammation. Balm mint, you can see, is another popular ingredient there, which is an anti-inflammatory, um, antimicrobial. Camphor, sea buckthorn, which is one of the newest ingredients out there, botanicals, that help with inflammation. And you can see niacinamide there at the bottom, a vitamin B3. It's very effective in reducing inflammation within that follicle. So you can see there some examples of ingredients, very many botanicals there that will help your client with consistent use to reduce that acne condition. Sorry. Now, it's really important, as I said before, that we are educating our client about what's happening in the skin so that we can provide them with the solution and that we have got a professional range that will address those contributing factors in acne. Alongside that, 
to get your client to come in and have treatment with you, courses of treatment on a regular basis, if they are suffering with an acne condition, is, is also vital. So I would definitely recommend courses, offering courses of treatment. I would definitely re recommend the use of electrical therapy as well for, for your clients. I don't know how many of you are using electrical therapy, but things like galvanic desincrustation, your iron sepharesis, if you've got some active ingredients that you can put deeper down into the skin, is a wonderful, wonderful way of helping to treat clients with acne. Using specialist masks, using your high frequency machine, that high frequency machine that's been stuffed in your cupboard, covered in dust that you haven't used since your college days, actually is a fabulous tool to help to dry up your acne condition, help to heal the skin, it's germicidal. And you'll find very often you've got clients that are desperate for you to help them heal their skin as quickly as possible. So your high frequency is a great way of doing that. Okay, so going back then, do you remember what I said that one of the main reasons uh, adult clientele suffers with acne is through chronic stress. When you have your client come in and they're covered in spots, it's very easy to just look at their face and not consider them as a whole. And we want to plonk them on the bed and we want to start rubbing and scrubbing and cleaning and cleansing and doing what we do because that's who we are and we first see their skin as a problem and we want to help them with that. But through thorough consultation and through thorough skin analysis, very often we're going to find out that it's actually stress that's causing that acne breakout, and especially remember if it's in those key areas that we talked about at the beginning. So first and foremost, obviously you're going to offer home care products to help them to relieve the inflammation and kill the bacteria and so on. But what we could be doing is attacking that root cause and that root cause is going to be stress in this situation. So what other treatments can you offer alongside your home care and your professional salon or skincare treatment for your acne client. And there's just a few ideas on the board behind you, but for those of you that are massage therapists, you know, one of the best forms of massage, I think, is MLD or manual lymphatic drainage techniques. Um, not only is it helping if you're working on the face, carrying out manual lymphatic drainage, but it's also extremely relaxing. Acupressure is very beneficial a, a very gentle form of massage, um, very impactful because it's working on energy in the body, very de-stressing. Reflexology, any of you that love having your feet touched, instantly relaxing, de-stressing. So again, thinking about what suits individual clients, what you can do to help to lower their stress levels. And you'll find very often that their acne will subside as a result of you getting them on a course of relaxation therapy.